Hey folks, I'm Saeed, the coding grammar, and in this video, we're gonna look at setting up a project in IntelliJ where we can run Groovy as well as Java together and do a bit of interoperability. Now, IntelliJ actually makes this really easy to do, so it's not gonna be a long video. We're just gonna get it set up and add a bit of code just to see how it works. All right, so here we are in IntelliJ. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a new project. So we're gonna to go to File, New Project. Then here we've got the option to select a Java project or a Groovy project. Now we can do either of those, but we'll go with Java first and we'll set up a project SDK. In my case, it's Java 18, but you can use any recent Java version. And in the additional libraries and framework section, we're just gonna tick Groovy. Then we're gonna come down to this section here and you may have a library already configured, in which case you can select it. In my case, I'm just gonna go with this download option and it tells you here what it's gonna do. So you can just click configure, have a look at that and say, okay. And then we're gonna hit next and give it a name something like that. Okay. And then we hit finish. Okay. And here we have our new Java project enabled for Groovy. So let's go ahead and create a Java class to begin with. So we'll just do that. Let's call that a Java. Okay. And we'll add a main method there. Okay. Now let's go ahead and create a Groovy class. So we've got the option there because we enabled Groovy for this project. So we hit Groovy class. Okay, we'll just call it that and we hit enter. Okay, and in this Groovy class, we'll just create a method. We'll say void Okay, and now let's go over here and see if we can invoke that. So we'll say new groove C dot say something. All right, let's see if we can run that. All right, looks good. So you can see that in this Java class, we've created a new instance of the Groovy class and executed a method in there. The syntax looks slightly different, but it's not that different to Java. If you can read Java, you can probably read Groovy. It's not that different. And so in Groovy, you can write Groovy classes, but you can also write Groovy scripts. So let's go ahead and create one of those. So we'll say new, it's all the way down here. So new Groovy script. Call that Groove S. All right, in here we've got no wrapper, so we can just create a method. All right, so now let's try and invoke this from the Java class. All right, let's run that. All right, so there you go. We can see that we can create a Java class and quite easily create a Groovy class and quite easily create a Groovy script and we can invoke all of those from Java. Now let's see if we can create a method in here that we might want to invoke from Groovy. All right, and now let's run that. And there you go. So you can see just how easy it is to create a project that's Groovy enabled in IntelliJ. You can see how easy it is to create Java classes, Groovy classes, and Groovy scripts in the same project and invoke them from each other. All right, I hope that was useful. For more useful software development content, and if you want to stay up to date with the latest software development industry trends, make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss out. And if you found this video even remotely useful, make sure you hit like. Thank you for watching.